Yeah, it could. Dragon Knights in general are just powerful. But um, the character I made for Dragon Knight before was a magic one, and that seemed to be fine. To be honest, right now I don't think they're the best, but still pretty good. Hello. How about a helping hand? Seem to have got my. Um. I never should have let Paris navigate me. Is that up? No, that's down. All of them are the objectives on the first floor. I'll see you. The UI is different on console than uh, PC, but that's about it. Otherwise, the game is fine itself. The respawn timer on these enemies, though, is pretty nuts. By the divines, have you come to help? John, what's your third and fourth skill using on your two hands? Uh, one second. Three is the biting jabs. It's under the Ajax Spear. It's the first one. And four is the Blazing Shields. It's this one. Too many games to play. Didn't have enough time to play. Yeah, I agree with you. There's a lot of upcoming games in May that I'm actually interested in. Battleborn, Mirror's Edge, of course the Doom Beta, and of course everyone's favorite, Uncharted. Those will all be streamed when I have, when I do them later. So, lots of games coming out in May. Pretty excited. And the Brotherhood expansion, I think that comes out on the 31st. I need your help. He's blithering. Um, I finished, I just finished my master's degree a few months ago, so maybe now so I can Paris dedicate more time. Hey, congrats, man. We told that idiot not to it's definitely a big accomplishment. I recently finished for my master's last year, and to be honest, I'm so glad I'm done. I love Black Ops 3, and but this looked good and adventurous. Yeah. Did you guys hear about the upcoming, um, what is it, Infinite Warfare? Apparently that got leaked by PlayStation accidentally. I'm not really a big fan of the Infinity Ward Call of Duties, but... Definitely going to play it because it's Call of Duty. Yeah, so tired of school. To be honest, going for like, what is it? Four years plus another two for your masters. Actually pretty nuts. And really expensive. All right, so we're done here. And by the way, thanks for the follows, guys. Let me just check something. Follow. I left for like 10 minutes. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, we just finished up some questing, and we're talking about video games now. You did it! Hold on. You did it! You've returned my crewmates! My friends! You've done more than many would do. Right now more I'm playing The Witcher 3 and trying a hand at Dark Thank Souls 2. We'll yeah, that's actually a pretty good one. Both of those games are really good. I actually recently started uh, playing Dark Souls 3. It's definitely a lot of fun. Barney Breen? Thanks for the follow, by the way. Everyone here. Um... Okay. Proctor, yeah, I was shocked they were re are redoing one, Indeed but Black Ops 3 is my first COD, so it'll be strange mechanic. Yeah, I've been playing every COD since COD 4, so it's kind of like all the stories are just kind of like shifted. Like You know how there's three different companies in the Call of Duty franchise? And yeah, it's just I don't really keep up with it. I like the Infinity Ward campaigns. But I like the Treyarch or Black Ops storylines a little bit more. Okay, so I think we're actually done here. Alright, so our Reaper's March is... Oh my god. 
I'll take that as a compliment. Follow me, and I'll ensure we all get back to safety. All right, if Reapers we March. Let's go over here. Paris, I hope you're happy. Told you it was a mistake to go through Crimson Raider waters. I took a year off after completing my bachelor's and then just went after the master's. No breaks, all except holiday. Finishing a little over a year. Dude, that's actually, like, faster than average. Doesn't it take, like, two years average? But congrats, man. That's a huge accomplishment. Would you uh, get your master's degree in? All right, so let's go. I think there's a quest over here. Let's go do that one. Accounting. I actually took like three years of accounting classes. That was, and then I realized it was just not for me. Void stone. Oh, I uh, graduated in business marketing and got my degree in that. Have I used it in life? Not really, but I feel like it's just a good thing to have. All right, so how do I get up there? Oh, nuts. Reaper's March is better than 10. All right. Okay, so the quest is up there. Just need to figure out how to get up there. I worked for a CPA for two years and then in 2013 started my own bookkeeping tax company. Dude, I think you're gonna be successful in life. Even though it's not really the most fun thing to do, those jobs definitely pay well. Oh yeah, you have to collect resources for everything. A bit frustrating. What do you mean? There's a quest up here. By the way, if you're new and you're seeing like the veteran ranks, don't worry about the next expansion or next month. They will be completely gone. So just worry about doing whatever you're doing now time, hey hello there friend can I beg your assistance today as you can see Jurak is a member of the lunar clergy many of my friends my brothers died when these beasts appeared I would have fled myself but for the ring of Rid Taridata to the brotherhood the ring is valuable for spiritual reasons but I fear some may see other kinds of value in our sacred relic. Please, Jurak is no warrior. Will you retrieve the ring from the moon month vault? You are very brave. May the moons brightly shine down on your soul as your soul shines out in the night. No, no. Uh, Jurak just has one of those faces, you know. The bright moon's orbit in mysterious ways. If you had powers in real life, what would you do? To be honest, I have no idea. Probably... Being able to drop meteors. That seems pretty cool. Um, we'll have a quite a bit of life experience. Retired from the Air Force and I've always played video games. Nice. Dude, you are like more successful than I am. And I'm actually really jealous. Alright, let's go in here. Retrieve the engagement ring. Oh. What the heck? That. Don't really do alchemy. Oh, you're a boss. Okay, so drop this. 
five. Charge. Charge. No. Okay. Determination in my upbringing. I'm a chick. Oh, nice. Well, congratulations on your success. It's really impressive. My mom had a hard life bringing up four kids and didn't want to go through what she went through. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, definitely. Show. Rough. This is my spot. Oh, Who are here. you? Why are you dressed as a bird? I'm roaming a game here, lady. Get gone before my partner comes back with my ring. Your ring? Are you stealing Riddar's ring? Thief! Thief! Oh, hush! And look, my partner's come back. Let's talk, partner. There's a lot of coin in it for you. Do not listen to him. He is a thief. The ring of Riddar is a sacred relic of my order. It cannot be taken from the temple grounds and sold in some market. Yes, a piece of living history touched by the fur of the first man himself. To even think that it could be bought or sold. Please, traveler, you must give the ring to me. We'll keep it safe, hidden. And preserved for our people okay so if you haven't been following the quest right here it's essentially we got a ring in that temple and there's two people that want it one he's just a thief who offered me money for it and this one uh, this lady is trying to protect the ring so generally that is the better choice and the yeah. yes a piece of living for your respect of Kajiti history your love of the past receive this blessing May the bright moons guard your steps until the end of your days. You see, Got it. there are still good and true people in this world. You're both idiots. At least I can sell this robe for a coin or two. Drinks you for Jura tonight. You made certain the Khajiit will have a voice in Elden Root. Thank you, Walker. That quest is done. All right, what's next? get back to a town and clear out my inventory a little bit down here ma uh oh that's where the thieves guild the raid area There is a bank in here with a fast shovel. Dang, that's crazy. You guys have a rough life. All right, let's clear out our stuff in the bank. If you're gonna climb the ugly tree, trim the lower branches first. This one has many accounts to settle before the moons, right? Okay, hold on. Just give me a second. Going to be depositing stuff in the bank. And we'll get on our way.
Put some more stuff in this there. One Regular has bank. What is this? Oh. There's people over there. You can't just steal it. Yeah, we all have some sort of goals set for ourselves. We use important. Okay, so next what I want to do is get the shard into delve here. So where is the shrine? I hope you just go straight ahead. We we'll just gotta start from the bottom up. Playing video games is my stress relief, though Dark Souls seems to increase it. Yep, pretty much. I know exactly how you feel with that. Well, I'm glad you're doing things to stress relieve yourself and not have to worry about all of that. So it's always a good thing. I played Dark Souls once at a friend's and as soon as I saw some porcelain doll face thing with an ax, I stopped. Yep. Alright, so we're only in here for the shard, which happens to be all the way down in the middle of nowhere. Dark Souls is definitely a game that's not for everyone. You really have to like, have some sort of hand-eye coordination and situational awareness. That's a dead end. They won't follow you forever. John, what level is your current character you're playing with? Uh, veteran 16. I'll just show you re uh, once we get to a safe spot. But it's pretty much maxed out and what we're doing now is uh, doing all the stuff that we missed in our initial playthrough. But yeah, veteran 16 and everything's maxed out. Sky Shard. Alright, let's go kill all the enemies there. So many marksmen here. How real is the level up grind in this game? Um, you could technically get from level 1 to veteran 16 in about 3 days if you grinded for it. But after the new patch that's coming out next month, uh, they're removing the veteran ranks. So, after next month there's going to be zero grind. And the only thing you're going to have to go for is the champion points. Which, I, which right now... You get champion points after veteran rank one, but since that's going away, um, I think after 50 or something, you start collecting them. Champion points essentially are your skill tree if you played Skyrim. Uh, it's kind of like the constellation, and you just put points into it for various things. So after next month, there's going to be essentially no grind, only for champion points. Okay, so... If we just I'm just gonna teleport out of here
how long have I been live for? About 50 minutes so far. And yeah, it'll be on YouTube as well. Just have to edit it and whatnot a little bit later. All right, so we're over here and we're going that way. Honestly, my first playthrough, like, to get to Veteran uh, 16 took about a year, but then now, th nowadays it's just easy, they made everything simple. Like, when I first started, the first Veteran rank was, the cap was at 10, and then they made it at 14, and then now the current one is 16, but next month they're all gonna be gone, so that's the thing that happened. If you keep teleporting like that, you're gonna lose all your money, yeah. I actually made a rant about that before. It's just like, I wish they would add something where you just pay like, you could have like one fee and then you could teleport as many times for free. But, yep. To be honest, getting money in this game is not hard. It's just time consuming. My God. Alright, so there's a thing in there. I think the shard is in here. Do you stream on Twitch often? Um, kind I just started doing it more often now, but before I primarily just did YouTube, but I do plan on streaming more often. One second, as I get something. I'm 14. Okay, we're good, I think. Oh, hello. Okay, that's what I thought. I know you upload to YouTube almost every day. Yeah, I upload to YouTube every day guaranteed, but streaming, I just thought I'd try it out just because I had a bit more free time. And it, I thought, if I'm going to play it anyway, I might as well uh, let people who want to watch it, like, watch it in advance. And then, then for all the people later who didn't get the chance, uh, it'll be on YouTube then. So, for, out of curiosity, for all of you who are from YouTube, what Let's Play... Or what game did you find my channel from? I know you said Destiny, but there's a lot of stuff. Does this go upwards? Where does this go? Um, think it's the lore breaking to have spend money on traveling should have to, to cast a spell or talk to someone at a caravan yeah i wish the cost of traveling either was reduced but what can you do maybe in the next expansion they'll like actually figure something out but you know they make an expansion for this game like once every year or something like that the hell is 
Is there a sky shard in here or is it just at the top? Uh, you guys found me from Destiny. Got it. That was actually a fun game. I just wish, you know, they would actually add stuff to the game. Because it gets kind of repetitive and the PvP or multiplayer part of the game is broken. But yeah, if you guys ha are having a good time here and enjoy what you see and what you hear, feel free to hit the follow button. It does help the channel grow a little bit and I would love to see you come back. All right, so that thing has definitely got to be on the top somewhere. Yeah, over there. Just gotta figure out how to get, oh, how to get to it. Pretty sure in that cave was like a quest I did a while ago. That didn't even look like it hit him. Oh yeah, we might be doing a little bit of Hitman later tonight since I just got a chance to download it. So that might be interesting, even though I'm completely terrible at it. Okay, so there's a Delve and a Sky Shard over there that I do wanna check out right now. I didn't actually get Destiny because of all the bad reviews on it. The game wasn't bad. It's just people. It's either you like it or you don't like it. Like, if you enjoy just the story part of it, uh, you probably won't like it. But if you enjoy shooters and playing with your friends, then I think you would like it. It's definitely not something that you, you would play solo. It's not a bad game, though. Oop, that's not the entrance. Destiny was your first shooter. Did you like it a lot? Yeah, I played through the main story of it primarily solo and then eventually started doing raids with some friends and then that's where it went and then eventually you kept doing the strikes and stuff and they're so repetitive because you can't even pick them well you can pick them to an extent but the ones that are interesting most likely not but yeah that's pretty much how it is if you play it solo you might not have as much fun but if, you, if you're just trying to have fun with it and play with your friends, that's pretty much good. Um, another game that's kind of like Destiny, but I think a little bit better, is The Division that came out, I think, last month or the month before. That's also a game kind of like that, where it's one of those things you play with friends. At the, at the moment, I'm debating on getting Rainbow Six or Star Wars Battlefront. Um, 